Salutations and greetings. My name is Marge. You call me Margie. Welcome to my tube. I'm a Hayoka, wise clown. With an attitude. <laughs> the brute. <laughs> Verify. I'm just a storyteller. Of stories that you tell are of the esoteric variety. See, turns out things are a little bit different than uh, what people talked about for a real long time. And people like me, light workers, star seeds, call us what you will. We're just trying to. We had crappy lives, and some of us got past the 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 this, the muck, so that we we rose above it. So we could help other people in these times because they are <laughs> wackadoo. Some of us have never lived outside of imagination and, and before the controlling programs like to control those because they, 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 people are good if they're good, but when you get too good, you start making look, them look bad. And some of the ideas that I have make some of these. <clears throat> joysticks a little insecure because when I start calling out things like why does a state <laughs> uh, I don't want to get too much on that I'm in a good mood I want to stay in a good mood I got my good mood shirt on I got my nice guy shirt on and this is <laughs> it's so soft I haven't worn one of my polos in a long time I used to wear them every day, polos and dockers, just in all kinds of different, different brighter colors than the usual. <laughs> I've always been about colors and lights and brights and laughed and food and things that make you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. And what I try to do, my intention that I set with this channel is to help people like me see... One of the reasons why I'm in a good mood is because the last few days have been hard on me. I've been really downtrodden. I've been really starting to listen to this negative talk that's in my mind. I know it's not true. And that It frustrates me more that I succumb to these, these feelings of ill will when I know that I'm better than that. So, I've been watching my, my superhero movies, The Avengers and things like that. This is why we do it. And then I started my day off this morning with, I just listened to it. I follow astrology a lot. I've always been of the stars because the earth has never really embraced me. And I have no earth in my chart. So it makes sense to me why. Anyway, Adrian Elise, she has, she's doing 30 days of presence. And that's, that's one of the things that I like to teach. It's how to be in the moment and process without reacting people can have the reaction part out, down pat and then they're having to backpedal and go oh did I do that <sighs> bunch of urkels yeah you know what you did because everybody lives more deliberately if you just try to deny it you're just a liar and who wants to hang out with them anyway it's the truth it's the people that speak truth that are drawing the attention see <laughs> one of, it's funny, one of these, why I appreciate these shirts so much is because I started watching the show last year in season two, I just discovered, came out last night, it's called Atypical. <laughs> See, I was born, a, I was born, and I did all the things <laughs> that autistic people do, but I didn't put the, because I was never in an environment where people made the connection they just cared didn't care they just said she's just a weird kid and I was written off so I made my life and I went to college and I was in the Air Force and I did all these things I won all these awards and then I got myself in this position because I my mom um just came to live with me 10 years ago and I moved to Oregon for a better life, and this is this is just all part of my stories. I tell this, and it hasn't worked out for me. But one of the reasons why I do this is because people are becoming more and more sensitive 
you know, we can be sensitive and tough as nails. People like underestimate spectrometers is what I call it. See, we read in people and feelings, and I can only speak for myself, but one of the reasons why I don't look in people's eyes is because I can feel that you're a liar. And there's nothing for me to see in there anyway, so what's the point? I'll look into your eyes to see who you are and I'll get a measure because I'm a human lie detector and I teach people how to do that too. It's all part about human the human experience. You also have to learn about self-preservation, maintenance, how to protect yourself and be kind to yourself and having things like having self-respect and the world has lost its way with that. Because people are selling out left and right. Where do people like me go that don't have a desire for profits and fucking thinks the stock market is stupid and freaking wars for freaking phony bullshit reasons because a bunch of old plastic men played chess when they were young and with their life of freaking... privilege, got to put yourself in a standing, but you're standing on the fucking backs of millions of women and men. All that stuff is shifting because light workers are given the opportunity to share their, their 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 visions, their way of seeing it, and we have better ideas like free electricity and water for everyone. We were freaking sold a lie. I was sold a lie. And sometimes people get stuck in a rut and they just live the lie. It's just easier. It's less effort because working for something you believe in it is not easy to do. This is my 271st video. I don't get a lot of views. Yet I keep seeing how people are waking up and woke and a lot of, lot of tarot card tower see <laughs> all of those when you get a reading and stuff all of those realities are true but does it fit your timeline that you're living in now that's what you don't know people think spirituality is just all whoop de doo love and light if I'm righteous and keep doing good things people will just be wonderful and that's just not has been my experience. And, you know, frankly, experience is what I research when I do business with or when I conduct something with people. If I'm willing to collaborate with somebody, see, people are too much. Oh, yeah, also, oh, yeah, you're good, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool, you're telling all these cool, and all these people are like throwing products and swag and all this money at you because you're so cool. <laughs> And you're so cool, but then these people that are doing that are doing dastardly, freaking shady, low vibe, greedy things. But you endorse them. And because you didn't pay attention, that puts you in the category with them. And people don't want to be related to shysters now. People want truth. More people want truth. And these little blurps have happened before in history. And then, you know, the hippie rose up and then it got squashed out. Now, since people are finding out that CBD and cannabis, they're, they're starting to see that they can profit, that it's freaking way better medicine than any mad-made science that makes people sick. But it's all changing. Now, <clears throat> when I found out I'm going to go back to my atypical talk. When I found out that I was like, holy shit, I'm autistic. That gave me a point of reference of recognition that I've never had before. And when people can relate to other people, that's how connections are made. Because the frequency of those people, it gets bigger. And then when you, when you talk with your friends, the connections get stronger. 
when you just you're horsing around, you're screwing around, you're you're just bantering, throwing around ideas while you're throwing around a baseball or just playing, you know, just playing. Those are how dreams are made. When you're sitting there and you're listening to music and you're just zoning out and you're thinking about how life can be so wonderful. That's how manifestations are started. Some people just get fixed on their dreams more than others. Some people never allow themselves to dream. Because why bother? They don't come true anyway. Well, of course they don't if you don't do it. So, the whole point of me in doing these videos is getting the whole world to see that it doesn't matter how you look, where you came from, what language is your native tongue, that we are all living in energy and we can relate just based on that. And now is the time that the field of love is growing because more people want things, more people want people to feel safe because they know what it's like to not feel safe. More people want the world to be a less scary place. So you're going to start seeing more videos from people like me to spread these messages of camaraderie, inclusion. It doesn't require any paid membership although donations will not be refused and greatly appreciated I don't have kids it's just me and my mom I got some four dogs and a cat just trying to get by I have an idea my vision I see is me in Colorado I don't like the word compound I like camp set up a camp. My friends, if you vibe like me, you're welcome as long as you're willing to put in some some work like me. But I'll never ask anybody to do anything that I won't do myself. I just want to get along and occasionally race somehow. <laughs> Hope you have a rad day. Peace.